Wow, I can't believe you are so tight, Lord Celebrimbor. After all these years, and I felt like you were even harder than I get in the woods. Maybe we should bring some guards for such a long trip, you know. But in, then we wouldn't be able to have those amazing moments with each other. Why I didn't get them in the first place, young Elrond? You know, I have an off-screen wife and child, which were much more relevant in, in the you know fucking video games compared to this uh, huge series. But still, you know. Uh, I can't let people know that I have a butt sex with young, pimp-looking piece of shits like you, you know? But you are clearly my type, so I basically take the risk of getting kidnapped or, you know, getting killed in the middle of the road while we are walking from fucking Eregion to khazad you know, just for your butthole. I can't believe Galadriel missed his uh, her chance with you. Thanks, my lord, I will take my vengeance one day. I'll wait until she has a daughter. Then, oh, you know what I mean, my lord. Who's there? I'm um, hello, I'm here for butt sex with dwarves. Lord Kelemribor says your dicks are the hardest in the universe. Look like you would even betray your best friend's trust and eavesdrop to his personal conversations with his wife. Seriously, why would you go there alone? Unless you have butt sex in the woods. I don't know. This series forces you to find reasons for their mistakes all the time. So this is my reason for them going alone to fucking Kazatum. Goes up train. That's right. Nobody goes up train. Take their wheels and leave them. Honestly, there are some defendable parts in Harfoot's case here. Every society should have rules and Nori basically break their rules. I mean, they are physically weak so their way of survival is basically hiding and being really good at it. And Nori basically blew up their cover so their rules about their secrecy should be really harsh and unforgiving, you know. But what the fuck is taking their wheels? Leaving them at the end of the line was I think a good enough punishment in my opinion. I don't know why this bitch offers, you know, taking their wheels, like, this bitch deserves to get burned alive, basically. And there is this meteor bullshit, every fucking guy sees this fucking meteor, from Gilgala to Elrond to, like, every motherfucker. The only piece of shit that didn't, don't see this fucking meteor is that guy who investigates the sky and fucking meteor falls right next to their camp how, how none of them sees this shit but everyone else this is why many people think those two little piece of shits basically sabotage this whole product they are the students of jar jar abrams who was like director of star wars which is a rival to Lord of the Rings somehow, I think it isn't, but still some people believe Star Wars is as good as Lord of the Rings. There are so many unnecessary details that are added, you know, they put effort to make those, but it brings down the show. Just make the meteor fall and let Nori discover it. Why everyone sees that shit but that, meet, uh, that guy that investigates the skies, you know, why? Just have a scene where everyone sleeps but Nori can't sleep for some reason and Meteor goes to a far away place but Nori goes, goes to discover. This, but these motherfuckers don't give a crap about logic. There's this recognizing evil from black milk bullshit. You know, Sauron is actually Halbrand and he does nothing to corrupt the world at the moment. Why... What causes that black milk? I don't know. And I don't think evil that spreads from Sauron or Melkor won't cause cows to have black milk or something. And this is pointless. Then there's this mithril being batteries to elves bullshit for some reason. What the fuck, man? You know, what is that black thing on leaves or the milk even? Why does it go away when mithril is close? Like, who the fuck imagined this? This is just stupid. They basically saw Ar Arvan fading in Lord of the Rings, but since they perceive it their ass rather than their brain, 
they basically misunderstood what's going on. Arwen and some elves are fading because of Sauron's influence. Because his armies grow huge and he basically gets his uh, spiritual power back as time passes. Also elves created their cities by using the powers of three elven rings which is crafted with Sauron's knowledge. So Sauron basically kind of corrupts these things still in a way. But here there is no evil. Like who the fuck uh, corrupts elves and cause them to be, you know, getting faded? Who does that? Adar? You know, he has no power. He is just an old elf. Nothing else. He has no magical powers to do this shit. And Sauron is basically Halbrand and he does nothing. So there is no reason for elves to fade basically. And then there are those pitiful attempts to make you wonder who is Sauron while it is so I mean I personally thought that Sauron was none of these guys and we will see actual Sauron in the, et, in the end in the east with Adar uh, reporting to him and I thought Sauron would take the Anatar shape in front of Adar and travel to elves and that would be like the end of the season one then I saw some trailers for like final uh, final episode and I saw they even write who is Sauron in the middle of the trailer. And I was like these motherfuckers man. At that point I know if someone is Sauron it has to be Halbrand. Like it is impossible for Meteor Man to be Sauron and there's no one else left basically. They had that eye of Sauron bullshit. Meteor Man doing random ass stuff. They even sink to the like the lowest levels beyond the bottom surface by making those uh, white mages bow to Meteor Man to make us think, uh, you know, he's Sauron. This is a complete bullshit. That fucking meteor come from west. The direction of meteor was from west to the east how could it be Sauron from the beginning that's what all I always thought it is impossible and there is that uh, forgetting food scene which really makes me think this is a sabotage from Jar Jar Abrams and his uh, students basically what the fuck man just how could you forget food when you are leaving your village because of orcs you know chasing you how about forgetting yourself while you are at it? How could you not get any food between you? They needed a lame excuse to make Theo leave and orcs chasing him and Arondir saving so that Theo could accept his uh, single mother having relationship with uh, Arondir in the end. There were so many missed opportunities with this one. All they have to do is I mean, they are already building the rage of Southlanders towards elves. Have Theo be under pressure because his mom is having it out with that black elf. So the boy would be hateful towards Arondir. And let his asshole friend getting into his mind because they left their town in a hurry. So they clearly would have food with them for fuck's sake. But they would leave valuable items such as gold or other stuff because they are trying to save their own lives. How about that asshole friend of his to get into his mind for going back to town and bringing some gold for selling them later? Everything else could be same with Arondir, you know, saving him. I mean, actually... He can't because he shouldn't have any weapons, you know, Adar set him free so that orcs could follow him. But at the same time, Arondir has his weapons while saving Theo there for some reason. Oh, by the way, that fucking work is awful. Let me show you that fucking work. What the fuck is this piece of shit? So it's wartime and you see this tower which is held by... Fucking ropes. I have never seen a tower like this. This is stupid. So the plan of 
uh, Black Elf and the Southlanders is actually not defending this uh, tower, I mean this castle, but using as a bait. A typical bad story writing number like whatever. You have a clever plan, but you don't see the payoff in the end, so it is not convincing. Yeah, they drop this tower on the orcs and Adar, but what is the payoff? You don't see the payoff in the latest half of the battle. There are still tons of orcs invading the town that they try to defend. Then the battle continues in the town. And this is the strategic bridge that they talk about. If the orcs pass this fucking bridge, it's over for them. Arondir says something like this. Now I'll try the best impression I can with that meme I used for work. What the fuck is this piece of shit? And then Galadriel and... I'm sorry, Galadriel and... Uh, Numenorians arrive at the moment. Some fucking how. I don't know how. They were in the fucking... They were in the middle of ocean. In their previous scene. Miles away. Then all of a sudden they are really close to there and they are charging. Like when did you even get to the land? When did you have a camp? How? There is not a perception of time in this fucking series. It also happens with that uh, stupid furnace that dwarves are building for the elves. You know, this is the whole reason why... Arond and Celebrimbor was going to dwarves in the first place and had that gay sex in the road. And look at this fucking picture. This basically summarizes everything stupid this franchise. They had a hard battle, then they celebrate, and look at how many people are there. Queen has no protection. He's, uh, she's sitting in the dinner table with everyone, or breakfast table in this matter. There, there were supposed to be like three armies, but this is not a war. Like, I mean, this feels like not a war between armies, but a war between three gangs, basically. Like a orc gang, a Southlander gang, and a slightly larger gang of Numenorians fought. And this is why there are such less people here. Than it should be. I feel like these are some imperialistic motherfuckers. So they had so much money. But instead of spending money on some people. To make it look more crowded. They didn't want regular people to get some money. So that's why they spend money on um, visual effects as much as possible. Instead of getting good actors and some figurants. You know what I mean? That is the name of a place that no longer exists. What shall we call it instead, Lord Father? Mr. Squidward, come look! Don't that look appetizing? Mm, good, sir. <laughs> Wait! Give me an o shitty ass mystery box scene with no logic. <laughs> What's next? Shitty ass armor designs. Sauron falling in love with Galadriel. I know this is a good idea. I'll show you. I'll, I'll make plastic Numenorean armors. <laughs> 